Hey guys, I wanted to create this short video uh, for those people that are susceptible to getting kidney stones. And this is relating to nuts, okay? And what nuts have the lowest amount of oxalates? Oxalates are a chemical compound in certain foods that combine with calcium and create a lot of irritation in your kidney and the joints and other tissues of the body and can form kidney stones, okay? So certain nuts are high on the list, spinach, rhubarb, chocolate, I'm sorry, uh, and a lot of other foods have certain amounts of oxalates. In fact, it's almost impossible to avoid oxalates in your food because it's in so many different types of foods. So you really want to just consume the least amount possible if you're susceptible to getting kidney stones, okay? So in this list, we're comparing milligrams per 100 gram per weight, okay? So if you're gonna take a 100 grams of almonds, you would end up with 469 milligrams of oxalates. So almonds have the highest amount of oxalates of all the nuts, okay? So of course you'd wanna avoid those for sure. Uh, cashews come in number two, then come pine nuts, then peanuts, walnuts. Now we start to get lower amounts. Pecans, pistachios, and macadamia nuts. So these are, are pretty darn low. And as a side note, there are other things you can do to minimize damage control. For example, if you were to consume nuts and cheese together, the calcium in the cheese would bind with the oxalate and make it insoluble, which means it'll go right through the body through the digestive system and not absorb through the digestive tract, end up in your blood, and then in the kidney. So the goal is to keep your dietary amounts of oxalates the lowest possible. The other thing you can do is consume uh, lemon juice, for example, or potassium citrate or calcium citrate because the citrate will also help to lower the binding effect of the oxalate stones. And I know a lot of you are on the ketogenic diet. Some of you have a tendency to get kidney stones. And it's really sometimes difficult because you have spinach, for example, you have chocolate and you have nuts and so many different recipes. What do you do? Well, you just go on the low end right here and then add a little bit of maybe goat's cheese to the nuts and that would definitely minimize the damage. And if you're not too familiar with oxalates, um, I have some videos down below you, you, can, you can study. All right, see you next time. So I wanna thank you for being here and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you can stay informed of future videos.